How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you all how to complete the six inning conquest as quickly as possible. Basically there are four stages in conquest in MLB The Show. They are the attack phase, the steal fans phase, the reinforcement phase, and then the move fans phase. And once you complete that, it does complete a turn. However, in this conquest, there aren't any turn-based missions. So as you can see here, I've already captured the red stronghold. And I'm going to be showing you guys that there is really any way to go about this. You can attack any strongholds that you want. I would recommend going towards the Reds or the White Sox first because they are not going to be able to protect themselves from the stronghold, which means you won't have to simulate any games before that. And basically what a stronghold is, is it's the team logo on a territory on the map, and that's basically that team's base. So I was able to take the Red stronghold, and I did unlock this gold player hidden reward discovered. And there are a variety of these hidden rewards throughout this conquest, and I'm going to be showing you guys a good amount of them and then I will be opening them all up at the end but I'm not gonna have all the territories conquered because I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible I just wanted to take over all the strongholds and try to get as many missions completed as possible so there I was able to beat the Reds I, sim I uh, simulated all of the territories in between where I have the two highlighted and then my stronghold that was initially the Reds so I simulated all those spots I stopped attacking at 2 million fans so that way I could save all of my fans. I skipped the phase in order to get to the steel fans phase and I would be taking uh, 3 million fans from the White Sox. It is a mission to take 3 million fans from any team and I figured that the White Sox would be an easy team to go after. However, you're going to play any team on all-star difficulty so it's not going to be too challenging. But I do recommend getting some speed on your team in these conquest modes. As you guys saw earlier, I hit a no-doubter with Ricky Henderson. I actually use him as a pinch runner as well. Uh, I also have a lot of speed in my lineup when I'm not trying to complete the daily missions. That is something that you want to also uh, complete while you're doing these conquest games. If you're able to, I would recommend completing as many of those computer-based uh, daily missions as possible. And then they're going to go ahead and reset. You're going to be able to get a variety of those done in this mode. This conquest should not take you uh, more than like two hours, two and a half hours, I would say. It took me about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes. I was also playing casually, doing some a couple other things as well. I also got a late start because I was working on another video regarding the six inning program, but I did want to get this out for you guys. Another good tip to do, and as you guys can see what I'm doing right now, is reinforcing the stronghold. I don't want any possibility that the team is going to take back that stronghold, so I'm going to put a couple fans in the uh, red stronghold that I just captured. And now that I've stolen the fans, I'm basically going to just reinforce, skip all of the phases, attack all of the blank hexagons, the territories that are uncontrolled by anyone. Every uh, three territories that you do control, you are able to get one more reinforcement fan. So that's going to be important in attacking some of these strongholds, making it a little bit easier. And I'm also going to unlock some hidden rewards along the way. There I was able to get the tops now July uh, pack, and that's a full pack. I mean, you don't have to do any missions for vouchers. Just go ahead and uh, conquer that highlighted space that I had on the one there in the middle to the left. But now we're going to keep moving on and reinforcing some of these spaces. I'm going to try and do this strategically so that way I'm able to get some of those up near the, the top right corner of the White Sox area. I put four there so I can expand and then I put two to get that other one that I missed. Just some tips in order to try and capture as many spaces as possible. That This will also allow you to uh, have less simulations to do. And there is a variety of ways to do this. Some people actually simulate all of the games that are not the stronghold spaces and then play the strongholds at the end. I find it easier to just attack the strongholds as I go. So that way the opponents aren't always like simulating and capturing strongholds that are territories that I just captured, if that makes sense. Once you kind of take over their stronghold, then they may have like one more string of attacks with one space. But after that, they don't necessarily attack anymore. I think that the last team that you'll capture will be the only team attacking at the very end. If I, uh, I've done this quite a bit and every, every time it seems to go that way. However, every conquest is different. I mean, the computer is unpredictable at times. Uh, sometimes you're going to lose some of these simulation games and that's okay. As long as you've already stolen the fans 
it, you can always skip those phases and just keep reinforcing to make the games a little bit easier for you. If you're playing a game on veteran and you have 25 fans against 10 million fans, then you might want to uh, reinforce and try and play that game on rookie or something like that. Same thing goes for any of the harder difficulties. But I'll kind of show you guys what I mean right here. I probably could have played the Stronghold game against the Dodgers with 12 million fans. I probably could have played that one on uh, All-Star. But I went ahead and just reinforced. I mean, I don't see any necessary reason to play that space. I'm Right now, I'm also trying to double up on my route towards the Dodgers because I don't want the computer to cut me off. And what I mean by that is basically take one spot uh between the 25 and the other stronghold then i would not be able to reinforce if that makes sense so i was able to do that and kind of just wanted to get uh some gameplay involved as well i do have a good amount of speed at the top of my lineup like i mentioned earlier but some of these signature series cards definitely come in handy i mean uh, willie may is able to hit a triple he's automatically in scoring position i'm trying to get these games over with as quickly as possible i'm not really trying to score a ton of runs i'm just trying to knock a couple base hits i'm really swinging at everything close in the zone and just trying to score a few runs and then go ahead and get myself out and i find it it's a lot quicker to just uh, intentionally hit the ball and put the ball in play and try and run yourself out of the inning but i do also want to get a little bit of an insurance run a uh, couple insurance runs a good lead so that way I'm able to do that. But once I conquered the Dodger Stronghold, you are unlocking this July monthly awards pack. And that's a guaranteed diamond. So we will be having a diamond unlocked or opened in a pack in this uh, in this video. And that's going to be at the very end here. But as I was able to simulate up into the White Sox Stronghold, I had already stolen 3 million fans from them. So uh, they didn't really have that many fans in there. I was able to play that game on Rookie. And I didn't get any hidden rewards afterward. I just figured I would include the screenshot. I did make my way down towards the Mets, and the Mets are a pretty good team as well. They have a lot of lefty bats. I would recommend using a couple left-handed relievers against a few guys in that lineup, like Michael Conforto, a couple of the other dudes that they have in there, like Pete Alonso mashes everybody, but there's just a couple tips on how to attack some of these teams. So basically, I'm just going to skip all these phases now that I only have one stronghold left. I only have to play one more game, and then I can simulate the rest of the map. And as you can see, the reinforcements uh, remaining, ha the number has increased over time just because I have accumulated more and more of those hexagons, those territories that add up over time. And, and now I'm able to reinforce 17 fans in one turn and that's going to be pretty good because I only have to really skip the, the phases one more time. I'll have enough to go ahead and attack the Seattle Mariners. Uh, I did go ahead and simulate a round. I was able to unlock five packs at that spot that I had highlighted previously. But um, there's a variety of spaces that unlock a couple different packs, rewards throughout this gameplay. You are able to get a ball in as a habit pack as well. Stuff like that. There's just a, a great amount of rewards that they're just giving you as well as program stars. This is all to get 30 program stars in order to unlock the sixth inning boss. But I wanted to kind of give an example of when the computer cut me off. As you guys see here, I was unable to reinforce. Now I, they are connected, so the, uh, the uh, hexagons are kind of highlighted there. I'm able to attack or reinforce from those specific spaces. I think that that's important as well. Sometimes people are asking me I'm not able to reinforce in a specific area, and I think that's what's going on. But, I mean, a few extra packs here and there is always good. I haven't really pulled anything out of free packs. Maybe a couple 5K diamonds. But as I am simulating, once again, the computer is trying to cut off the route that I'm trying to take in order to simulate. That's why I was also talking a little bit about doubling up your route as I did there on the left side. They weren't able to cut me off. And if I didn't, then they may have and I wouldn't have been able to reinforce. But I just decided to play the Mariners on Veteran because... I figured that that would be fine. I I didn't really want to try and reinforce as many fans and complete the route in order to play them on rookie. I just wanted to show you guys that as an example. I tend to play a few of these conquest games uh, some, sometimes on a little bit harder difficulty than I have to just because I'm trying to get it done com as quickly as possible. But I was able to hit a no-doubter with uh, Yasmani Grandal. Once you capture all the strongholds, they give you a pack. And then I did indeed get a ball in as a habit pack as well. So that's going to be cool to open. I think that I'll have, what, 12 of these packs included as well as a few of these other ones that are special packs. And there's probably other spaces on the map that I did indeed miss.
but I'm just gonna quickly open up some of these guys get these uh, get this video out there for you all as quickly as possible and uh, hopefully you guys get some great rewards in these packs but we will have a guaranteed diamond there's a nice gold card uh, Craig Kimbrell so he was a free agent I went ahead and locked him in already I I've completed all the collection so I just went ahead and quick sold him right there but some of these uh, this is all free stubs I mean bronze commons they all add up if you go through your binder and quick sell these guys or put them on the market then they will people will eventually buy them and uh, you can actually make a good amount of stubs this way so I do have 76k stubs. I did go ahead and lock in the uh, the six inning bosses or the fifth inning bosses for the six inning voucher. My mistake, but I I am uh, trying to get to 100 stars at least. That's where I'm approaching after completing a few daily missions. I just want to try and get uh, the Ken Griffey Jr. unlocked as quickly as possible. I know that someone already has him up there on the market. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, some people have crazy ways of grinding this game out, and he put could potentially have glitched it as well as it could be a developer who has multiple program stars or multiple program vouchers and they're just able to unlock the card right away put them up on the market i don't really know that was kind of confusing but nonetheless we do have a couple of these packs now we are getting to the good packs to where i have a better chance of pulling a diamond and a guaranteed chance so we get two golds in the ball and as a habit that is not bad at all let's go ahead and quick sell these cards and then i'm going to open up this guaranteed diamond pack it is at a 1 in 25 chance to pull a rare tier card. And I thought that this was going to be a choice pack, but it looks like this is going to be a solo player and it's just going to be a random player. So 48 stolen bases, 152 runs, a 256 batting average. So not the greatest player for his career, but uh, Texas Rangers, I'm not even sure who the player of the month cards are for the Rangers. Uh, I know it's not Joey Gallo. That would be really cool, though, if I got a uh, Joey Gallo out of this pack. It is going to be Danny Santana. So Danny Santana is definitely a good card. I'm pretty sure he mashes lefties. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out with the conquest. And let me know what you guys got out of your rewards. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.